Oh boy, finding maggots on your dog is a scary thing. Nobody wants to see that. This problem is called myosis, and it happens when flies lay their eggs in a dog's wound or on their wet, dirty fur. These eggs hatch into little larvae, which are the maggots you see. It can happen very fast, sometimes in less than a day, especially in warm weather. These little critters are not just gross, they are very dangerous for your animal. They start to eat the dead skin, but pretty soon they can start eating healthy tissue too. This causes a lot of pain and can lead to very serious infections. You might wonder how this could even happen to your dog. Well, flies are attracted to any kind of moisture and bad smells. If your dog has an open sore, even a small scratch that you didn't notice, it can be a perfect place for a fly to lay eggs. Hot spots, which are wet, irritated patches of skin, are also a big risk. Sometimes, if a dog has trouble grooming itself, especially older dogs or long-haired dogs, mats of fur can get wet with urine or feces. This creates the perfect breeding ground for flies. So you see, it's not just big, open wounds we have to worry about. It is very important to act fast when you see maggots. The longer they are there, the more damage they will do. The maggots release toxins that can make your dog very sick. The wound will get bigger and deeper, and the risk of a life-threatening infection goes way up. Your dog will be in a lot of pain and may feel very weak. They might stop eating or drinking, which makes everything worse. This is not something that will get better on its own. You have to step in and help your dog right away. And that's what we are going to talk about. Recognizing the signs early can make all the difference. You might see the maggots moving, and they look like tiny white worms, maybe the size of a grain of rice. You might also notice a very bad smell coming from a certain area on your dog. The skin could be red, swollen, and look very irritated. Your dog might be licking or chewing at the spot all the time because it hurts and itches. If you see any of these signs, you need to take a closer look. Don't wait. A small problem can become a huge emergency in just a day or two. So, you found maggots. Take a deep breath. The first thing you need to do is call your veterinarian right away. Tell them what you see and that you are on your way. While you prepare to go to the clinic, there are a few things you can do at home to help your dog. But remember, safety first. Your dog is in pain and is probably very scared. A scared dog might bite even if they have never bitten anyone before. So, before you do anything, you might need to put a muzzle on your dog to keep yourself safe. You should also wear disposable gloves to protect your hands. The next step is to prepare the area. If you can, you will want to gently trim the fur around the wound with electric clippers. Be very, very careful not to cut the skin. The skin is already very sore and fragile. Using scissors is dangerous because you can easily snip the skin, so clippers are much safer. Cutting the hair away lets you see how bad the wound really is and helps the area dry out. It also makes it easier to clean and remove some of the maggots. This is a good first step, but you must be gentle and stop if your dog is getting too upset. Once the hair is trimmed, you can start to clean the wound. Use a warm, mild antiseptic solution, like chlorhexidine or povidone iodine, diluted with water. You can flush the area gently using a syringe without a needle or a squeeze bottle. This will help wash away some of the dirt, debris, and yes, some of the maggots. Do not use hydrogen peroxide or alcohol, as these can damage the healthy tissue and cause a lot of pain. Your goal is just to start the cleaning process. You are not trying to fix the whole problem at home. That is a job for the vet. If you feel you can, you can try to remove some of the visible maggots using tweezers. Pluck them out one by one. This can be a slow process, and you might not get all of them. That is okay. The main thing is to do what you can without causing your dog more pain or stress. Removing some of the maggots can provide some immediate relief. But I will say it again. This is only first aid. Your dog absolutely must see a veterinarian. Home care is not enough to treat a maggot infestation completely and safely. Getting your dog to the clinic is the most important thing you can do. We veterinarians have the right tools and the right medicine to handle this problem properly. When you bring your dog in, we will probably give them something for the pain and maybe a sedative. This helps keep your dog calm and comfortable. It also allows us to work on the wound without causing more stress. A sedated dog won't move around, which makes it much safer for us to clean everything up thoroughly. We need to get a really good look at how deep the damage goes. The first thing we will do is a full cleaning of the wound. We will use sterile saline and antiseptic solutions to flush out all the remaining maggots and dead tissue. This is called debridement. It is a very important step because any dead tissue left behind can slow down healing and cause more infection. We have special surgical tools to do this carefully. 
We have to be sure we get every single maggot. If even one is left behind, it can continue to cause problems. We will make sure the wound is completely clean before we move on to the next step. After the wound is clean, we will treat the infection. A maggot infestation always comes with a bad bacterial infection. Your dog will need antibiotics to fight it. We might give an injection at the clinic to start working right away, and we will send you home with antibiotic pills to give for a week or two. We will also give your dog medication for the pain and inflammation. We want to make sure your dog is as comfortable as possible while they heal. We might also apply a topical cream to the wound to help it heal and keep new flies away. Sometimes the wound is so large that it needs stitches to close it up. However, we usually can't stitch a wound like this right away because we need to let it drain. We might place a temporary drain or leave it open to heal for a few days. We will show you how to care for the wound at home, which includes cleaning it and changing the bandages. Follow-up visits are also very important so we can check on the healing process and make sure everything is going well. We are a team, you and me, working together for your dog. Now that your dog is healing, let's talk about how to make sure this never ever happens again. Prevention is always better than treatment, you know? The most important thing is to keep your dog clean and dry. Check your dog's body every single day, especially if they have long fur or spend a lot of time outside. Look for any cuts, scratches, or sores. Pay close attention to their ears, the folds of their skin, and their back end. If you find a small wound, clean it right away with a pet-safe antiseptic and keep an eye on it. Good grooming is key. If you have a long-haired dog, keep their coat trimmed, especially around their rear end. This prevents feces and urine from getting trapped in the fur. Matted hair is a big problem because it traps moisture against the skin, creating the perfect environment for flies. Brush your dog regularly to prevent mats from forming. A clean dog is a healthy dog, and a clean dog is not very attractive to flies. If your dog has mobility issues and can't groom itself well, you will need to help by cleaning them with pet wipes every day. You also need to control the flies in your dog's environment. Keep your yard clean by picking up dog waste right away. Flies are attracted to feces, so a clean yard means fewer flies. Make sure your garbage cans have tight-fitting lids. Inside your house, you can use screens on your windows and doors to keep flies out. Don't leave your dog's food out for long periods, as it can also attract flies. A little bit of cleanup around the house and yard can make a big difference in the number of flies buzzing around your property. Finally, if your dog has any ongoing health issues like skin allergies, incontinence, or wounds that won't heal, work with your vet to manage them. These chronic problems make your dog a much bigger target for myosis. Regular vet checkups can help catch small problems before they become big ones. By being a proactive pet owner and paying close attention to your dog's health and hygiene, you can protect your best friend from the awful experience of a maggot infestation.